is in the air. Oh, the month of February. So I am bringing a Freebie Friday paint along for you. It is called Love Cow. So I also like to add a little piece of paper that we added to the top that you can print out and it says, I love Moo. So this is a great paint along that you can use to share with any of your loved ones. So go grab your art supplies and meet me back here. We're gonna be working on our Love Cow. Now we need to make sure we have all our supplies. You have your easel, which is sitting on the table. Um, you have a canvas. Please remember, you need to make sure that you paint all four sides as we add the background color. So make sure that you will have to turn it to get to the bottom. You have your cup of water. You will see that there are two brushes. Make sure you look because there is a large red brush and a small red brush. So please listen to Miss Lawson because I will tell you if you need the small or the large brush. Sitting at your table, you're gonna have a foam brush, which we will throw this away when we're done with it. A piece of chalk and then your colors. You have black, red, and white. Um, we will be making pink, so that's what we'll do between these two colors, and then you have your paper towels. Also, you're going to see there is a handout that has our step-by-step -step drawing of our love cow. That's just to have um, if I move too fast. So we are going to start with our big foam brush. Again, we're going to use this to paint the background, and then we're going to throw this away. Red is your first color, so you're going to make sure that you Grab some red, and then you're going to just start filling it in the back. Now, again, this paint is acrylic paint. It will stain your clothes, so make sure your sleeves are rolled up, your jackets are taken off. It will not stain your hands. It will wash off, but it will stain your clothes. So go ahead and make sure that you spread this paint out. We don't want any big globs of paint. Okay, so you can see that I did turn it and flip it to make sure I got the bottom and the sides. Um, don't get any more paint, but just make sure that all the paint is even. Um, again, the big blobs make drying time longer. This is gonna be going to the trash can, so play, please make sure you throw this away and then you're going to walk your canvas over to Miss Lawson's table so I can blow dry this one layer before we move to drawing our cow. Okay, now that this layer is dry. Now, it may be dry here. It may still be wet on the edges. We're not worried about the edges. This is the area we want dry. This is when your little handout that is sitting at your table is gonna come in handy. We're gonna be doing each step um, together. So your chalk is the next supply. Now, as we draw this with chalk, if you feel like you don't like where you drew it or the size or shape, please raise your hand. Miss Lawson will come around with a damp paper towel and I will clean it off. Or just take your hand and rub it off. Um, the chalk will disappear after it dries. So the first shape is going to be its head, which is somewhat of a funny shape. I don't even know how to explain it. What you do want to know is you need to leave room at the top for the horn. So we don't want to start here. We're going to come down and we do need to need to leave room at the bottom because we want some of a body. So it's gonna kind of be right in the middle. So the shape is going to be larger at the bottom and smaller at the top. It kind of looks like an egg, but not really. Once we have the head, then we're gonna go off the edges and we're gonna add the ear, which is just a curve on both sides. Now the horns are gonna come up near the top and they do have a point at the end. So above this ear, I'm gonna go out, up, back down. Make sure they are touching the head. Then we're gonna add the line that's gonna separate the nose and it kind of, I did that bump in the middle to make it somewhat look like a heart since we're doing a love cow. We will not draw the eyes with chalk. Um, I know you see the eyes in this step but we're not gonna draw it because we're gonna paint over that. We're just separating the shapes. And the last part is adding the body which you kind of have to pick it up off the thing. Underneath that nose all the way to the end of your canvas. 
And the I Love Moo, we're going to add that separately. We're not going to be painting it on our canvas. Okay, chalk. Miss Lawson's going to tell you where to put these when we are done with them. I'm going to collect them. And then we're going to move to our first color, which is going to be white. You will need your big red brush. So as you take it out of the water, please make sure that you're dabbing it on the paper towel to get all of the water off. We're going to be moving to white. So you're just going to get a little white. And we're going to paint starting at the head. And then we're going to leave that blank because we're going to paint that pink. The ears are going to be white. The horns are not. The other ear. And if you need the smaller brush to switch if your ears are smaller, that's fine. Make sure there's no big globs. And then we're going to jump down to the body down here. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure these soak in the water. We are gonna use our smaller brush to make the pink and add it in there. I have white, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do with the small red brush, I'm gonna take some red and some white and move them over in the middle to make a shade of pink. Once I've got my shade of pink, then I'm gonna start filling in here. I notice it's a little too white, so I'm gonna add more red. I don't want it the same color as the background and I don't want it the same color as the cow. So you kind of have to find your perfect shade of pink. And then you're just gonna follow that chalk line of the nose. Now my wet is still, um, my white is still wet, so I do need to be careful. Okay, now we're going to wash this off, so make sure you put it in the water. You're going to bounce it up and down, making sure it's nice and dry. You can leave them soaking as you walk your cow back to Miss Lawson's table so we can dry this layer before we move on to the horns um, and the last part of our details. Okay, now that this layer has been dried, we're gonna finish it up. We are gonna make a gray color to paint in our horns. So you're gonna be using the small red brush, so make sure you bounce it off the cup, dab it on your paper towel, get all the water off. So we're gonna have to make gray. Again, don't use all the black, don't use all the white. Move it over some. You don't need a lot of black. Black goes a long way compared to white. So once you get a gray in the middle, you're going to use that to paint in our horns. Are painted gray. Um, again, you're going to clean your brush off, so make sure you bounce it off the bottom of the cup. Gently wipe and get all the water off. Now we're just gonna be using our black and our small red brush. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our eyes, which they are closed if you're looking at our handouts. So we're gonna do a U. And a U. And then if you want to add some eyelashes, just little lines off. Then we're going to add our nostrils in. Then we're going to add our cow's spots. So the only thing we do not want our spots on our horns. We don't want it over our eyes or in the nose. So we're only adding spots and they're just a wiggly line. And then you paint it in black on the white part. 
Again, you can kind of create your own cow's spots. You don't have to follow exactly where I'm putting mine. Big ones, small ones, they can be on the ear. Just not on the horns or the nose. So figure out where you would like your spots on your cow. Okay, I think I like my little cow. So take your brush. The last step we're going to do um, is we're actually going to wash this off. Put that in your cup. We are going to use our Sharpie marker to add our initials to let the world know which artist created this piece of artwork. So. I'm going to show you where to get a permanent marker. You're going to put it in a corner, left or right. It doesn't matter. Now, be careful. My paint's wet right there. So you're going to take your marker, and if you have a, a short name, a small name, you could write your whole name. If not, you're just going to write your two initials. So once you've done that, return the marker where we got them from and then we're going to clean up. So please listen. Our paint palette, this is trash. You will throw this in the trash can. Your chalk and your marker should already be put back. Your cup and your two other paint brushes. Um, you're going to take the paint brushes, you're going to put them in the pool where we always put our paint brushes with the soapy water. Then you're gonna go to the other sink, which is the big sink, and you're going to dump the dirty water in the sink, and then I will show you, um, there's another orange bucket to put our cup in. Then your paper towels, these are also trash. So please make sure you throw your trash and your paint palette in the trash can, your paint brushes in the sink, and then your cup in the sink. I hope you enjoyed painting your love cow. I'm going to show you um, the I Love Moo. I am actually have it on a piece of paper, so if you want to add it to your canvas um, or if you want to leave it off. I hope you enjoyed painting your love cow with me, and remember, it is a great um, art activity. Make two of them. Keep one. Share the other with someone that you care about. So I hope you join me back at the Art Barn Studio YouTube channel for another Draw Along or Paint Along.